Hi Scorpio, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 26th through November 1st. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. I would like to say happy birthday, Scorpio, to all of you Scorpios, uh, but especially those of you that happen to have a birthday this week, happy birthday. Also, I would like to wish everybody a happy Halloween. So we did just have the Emperor flip out. Okay, Queen of Cups, when I picked her up, she's she's sideways. So for some of you, she's in the upright. Other, she possibly could be in the reverse. Let's see what else is going to come out. Scorpio, what does the sign of Scorpio? Okay, death. So some of you Scorpio females definitely dealing with a man. So this could be an Aries, this could be a Taurus, but doesn't have to be really, could be any sign. This could be your husband, this could be your boss, this could be your father. Others, you might be maybe stepping into your power here this week. Wow, okay, so we have death, we have the sun, so we have some majors here. Scorpio, what does the sign of Scorpio have coming up for this week? Okay, here is the Two of Cups with the Two of Wands. This card also came out sideways. Scorpio. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Okay. So we just need an overall energy for Scorpio for this week, which is, okay. Four of Wands, wow, okay. Let's see here, Scorpio. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, I do have the Ten of Wands. So you're dropping a heavy load, something that was weighing you down, something that was maybe a huge burden, something that was stressing you out. I see healing. I see healing coming in. Let's see here. In some way, you're going to be dropping this heavy load. So I definitely see some of you mending a relationship. Others, you could be freeing yourself. You possibly could be letting go of a relationship. But this is a cycle that is completing. Oh, yeah. So we have the Five of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands. For some of you Scorpios that I'm reading for, you know, you might have been fighting with someone. Now this could be your husband, could be a soon-to-be ex-husband for some of you. This is something I feel that's been ongoing, but again, you're dropping this. Now what's interesting here on this five of swords in this deck let me see if um there we go on the picture here there is a picture here and this is actually the emperor in this deck 
on the picture in this in this five of swords so this is actually scorpio the very first card that jumped out for you which is the emperor so we have the emperor but he's actually on a picture here on the five of swords which is quite interesting some of you have been dealing with this man this character even if this is a female this would be someone who's very masculine and with the five of swords there could have been an argument this person could have been nasty but again i i do have this healing energy and if i keep going oh yeah if i keep going i have the knight of cups here i also have judgment so yeah uh this person could be apologizing to you here this week yeah look at this we have the eight of wands there's communication definitely coming in yeah lots of healing energy we have the four of swords i have the six of swords i could just keep going scorpio oh yeah if and if i keep going <laughs> uh we have the tower which this deck is is very unique and, and in case you're wondering what deck this is this is the central wicca tarot i did feel inspired to use this deck for this week's forecast um and so there might have been an argument with this emperor now you might be the emperor uh you might be a scorpio male that i'm reading for and you might be dealing with a queen of cups maybe you're a cross watcher watching this reading there was a fight for some of you there was a separation i see forward movement i see communication coming in there is an apology that's coming in so this could be an apology that's coming your way or you could be apologizing to someone especially if you're the scorpio male and by you doing that you're going to be freeing yourself and also for some of you you might have felt guilty you're dropping this heavy load you're going to feel a lot lighter once you communicate once you apologize the overall energy is the four of wands very nice some of you have birthdays here this week i see you celebrating now some of you might have gotten into a fight with this person you might have separated there could have been physical distance between you uh here this week though you could be coming back together four of wands is the overall energy which is you with the other person or you with the group um it is a very harmonious energy so if you were separated some of you like i mentioned you are mending a relationship there will be an apology there will be communication you all could be coming back together and maybe prior you were not sleeping under the same roof but here this week you are I feel like for some of you, this is physical travel with the Eight of Wands. We've seen the Tower there, uh, the Six of Swords. So those of you where there was physical distance between you two, I see you coming back together. And some of you will be under the same roof. Also, if you have a birthday, Scorpio, here this week, you could be making up with someone you know just in time for your birthday other scorpios this is you feeling very very secure very secure uh things could be going quite well for you on the business front you you definitely are going through um some change here transformation you're dropping this heavy load if you're waiting on an offer or waiting on a decision waiting on news to come in it is coming in many of you this is you here this week i see the social energy you're going to be celebrating um 
this positive turn of events here. Definitely see that. I have the Emperor, I have the Queen of Cups. I also have the Two of Cups with the Two of Wands. So for some of you, this is business. For others, this is a relationship. If not romantic, of course, this could be a best friend. This could be a family member. But when the Two of Wands, when the Two of Wands flipped out, it landed sideways. And so the Two of Wands represents you, you planning weighing the options. I feel like for some of you, uh, it landed sideways because you're now ready to take action with that Eight of Wands, that Knight of Cups, the Six of Swords, and then what we see here with Death and the Sun. I think that some of you Scorpios, you've already planned. You've already thought about something. You've already weighed the options. Some of you are ready to make your decision. And it's in regards to a relationship or partnership. Others, those of you that don't work for a living, it's in regards to the family. Family matter could be also a home. If you are waiting on maybe some money to come in, some sort of financial help, some sort of uh, assistance, news, communication to come in, I see that. Again, lots of healing energy and also just a lot of positivity. There's a lot of positive energies that are coming in for you guys. And the energy is shifting, so things might not have felt, you know, super positive maybe prior, maybe in the month of October. You're carrying this heavy load. Now, I definitely could even be reading for some Scorpios where maybe you were out of work. Definitely dealing with some hurdles, some, some obstacles, some challenges. You're going through this period of change great change transformation now something could have happened suddenly in the past but something is leaving your life something is leaving your life or something is changing forever now for some of you that's a relationship something is changing forever but um this is for the better this is this is very positive now I could be reading for some Scorpios where maybe you're getting married definitely see that for some of you the Knight of Cups there someone could be proposing or They've been planning this. They've been thinking about this for a long time. For some of you, it could be happening this week, if not this week, in the near future. With the Four of Wands, if that's something that you resonate with, you could be getting the, the family's approval here this week. For those of you that want to pop the question, Others, your life is changing. Your life is changing in a big way. We do have the Ace of Cups here. We have a full moon. We have a full moon on Halloween. We have the Ace of Cups. We have death. So we know great change is coming in. We have the sun. So I feel like for some of you, there is something really positive that you're hearing the energy is shifting you're really starting to see that that growth that transformation and also you're dropping this heavy load you're 
starting to feel lighter. You're starting to feel free, Scorpio. This Ace of Cups is coming in. It's a blessing. For some of you, you've been waiting on this. Those of you that did have a fight with someone, if there was a breakup, this is you all coming back together. This is you healing. If you were not under the same roof, you're going to be back under the same roof with this person. And you could be helping someone. You could be helping someone. They could be helping you. I see that. For some of you, this is family. There could be a child that is significant. So uh, if you are helping someone in your family, it definitely could be a child. Scorpio could be one of your children. I'm just seeing what else I'm getting here. Yeah, you have some beautiful energies here. Let's pull you some additional guidance cards. For some of you, you are forgiving someone. Maybe somebody asked you for, they might have asked you for forgiveness. And here this week, Scorpio, you could be making a decision to forgive them. All right. And because we do have that full moon, I'm going to pull you a Moonology Oracle card, Scorpio. But you have this new beginning that's coming in or this new energy that is coming in because for some of you this is healing energy. And it's making you very happy. You're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel free and um, yeah, just enjoy yourself, your loved ones here this week. The energy is there. You could be having a Halloween party, Halloween slash maybe even birthday party. We do have scrying intuition. So, I mean, it's Halloween. It's Halloween this week, Scorpio. Uh, for some of you that I'm reading for, you're very much into Halloween. You love Halloween. Uh, maybe just as much as I do. <laughs> um, I, I love this time of year. So for some of you, this could be something you're doing. This could be something you're learning about. Maybe you're even learning how to read the tarot. Uh, but listen to your intuition. I've said it. I've said it prior that there's something coming to light there's something you're hearing or someone you're hearing from there's news coming in it's very very positive listen to your intuition as far as what you should do next and this is interesting believe you are good enough full moon in virgo so it's possible that a virgo is significant for some of you but um, for other Scorpios, you need to believe in yourself. You need to even believe in this relationship. Believe in yourself. You are good enough. If you're just starting to maybe learn how to read cards, if you're just starting to learn about something new, have faith in yourself. That's what this is saying. You need to have faith in yourself, Scorpio. All right, guys, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. All right, guys, stay safe and have a blessed week. Take care.